the world of Ubuntu welcomes you and it is ready to grant you all the power over your system. However, being a newbie, you might find its command line interface, CLI, a little intimidating. A lot of people find Linux more challenging as an operating system especially when they are coming from the comfort of using Windows or MacOS. Here we present the basic but very important Ubuntu commands to give you an in-depth knowledge of how to use your Linux terminal. Commands used for system information. Date. The simple, date command displays the current date and time, including the day of the week, month, time, time zone, year. Syntax. Date. TZ. By default, date command uses the time zone defined in path, slash etc slash local time linux user can change the time zone via terminal by using command tz syntax tz equals name of time zone date example tz equals gmt date tz equals ksa date set linux allows its user to set the current date and time of the system manually syntax date dash set equals date in format year year, month, month, day, day, space, time in format, hour, hour, month, month. D. To operate the system on a specific date, you can change the date by using D. Syntax. Date. D date underscore to underscore operate underscore system underscore on first example date d now second example date d yesterday third example date d tomorrow last example date d last monday df the command df shows the amount of disk space used and disk space available on every file system containing each file system's name and its path. Syntax df. dfh. The command dfh shows the same result as the command df, but now the data is in a more human readable form which can be easily comprehended by a new user. Syntax df space dash h. Free. The command free displays the amount of free and used memory in the complete system. Syntax free. PS. The command PS, which is also known as process status command, is used to provide information about the processes currently running on the system, including their respective process identification numbers, PIDs. Syntax PS. Uptime. The command uptime provides information about how long the system has been running in one line. Result for this command includes the current time, the time duration system has been running for, the number of users who are currently logged on, and the system load averages for the past 1, 5, and 15 minutes respectively. Syntax uptime. W. The command W displays the detailed information about the users who are logged in the system currently. Syntax. W. PASSWD. The command PASSWD stands for password and it is used to change the password of the user. Syntax. PASSWD space your Linux username. Exit. The command exit as the name says it is used to exit from the system and log out from the current user. Syntax exit. Shutdown. The command shutdown is used to shut down the system. Syntax shutdown. MKDIR. The command MKDIR allows users to create new directories, folders in the system. The user running this command must have suitable rights over the parent directory to create a directory or they will receive an error. Syntax 
mkdir space your new directory name rmdir the command rmdir allows users to remove directories or folders from the system the user running this command must have suitable rights over the parent directory to remove a directory or they will receive an error syntax rmdir space your directory room the command room is used to remove files from the directory syntax room space files name cat the command cat is a reverse of the command tack it is used to display each line of the file starting from the first row and finishing on its last row this command is more frequently used than tack syntax cat space file name first example cat space a consider having a file named a as shown below cat command will display its data on the screen mv the command mv is used for two purposes one to move files or directories from one path to another path in the system two to rename a file or folder mv to move files syntax mv space source file name space destination file name example consider having two files in a directory file 1 and file 2 Entering the command mv file 1 space file 2 will move data of file 1 to file 2 and delete source file in example file 1 from the system mv to rename files syntax mv space file name space new name for file example consider having two files in a directory file 1 and file 2 entering the command mv file 1 space rename file will rename file 1 to rename file in the same directory. <laughs>